Hey guys, welcome back to my first ever playthrough of Chrono Cross. Uh, we have collected Komodo scales for a necklace, but I'm a curious cat and we have just found a pass of beach down there. Wait, I think that's where she was meant to be waiting for us. Also, there's Lizard Rock South. Oh man, there's so many things on here that I hadn't thought about. Well, let's... I think there was an area back here that we didn't quite figure out. And, oh, it puts us down this way. Well, that's fine. Hello? We'll have a quick word with you while we're here. But we didn't investigate this area fully last time out. So we're going to make sure that we do. Uh, it's been a couple of days since my last recording session, so I'm just trying to ease myself back into the combat system. Uh, these are all blue elements, so I don't think blues can do anything to them, so we'll just focus on you. I still don't know what the highlighted yellow number means. That remains a mystery. You know what? It's fine. We'll work it out. I also don't know why sometimes they can just counterattack mid my turn, but that's okay. We're learning. Uh... Yay, hey, gambled on the big hit. And then we'll... Gambled on the big hit again. Oh, you sneaky sausage. Don't you be squirt gunning me. Oof. Okay, that's fine. Well, the cure will take care of that. Let's keep things nice and simple this time. Chop, and then chop. Yeah! Chopped him real good. Yep, we'll use the cure to heal up. Got some more stuff. So I don't believe we went down... Also, there's a path up there. How do we get up there? Okay, I have not been down this way before. And there are many friends to say hello to, so... <gasps> Wait, that's a Komodo thing we need. I mean, we don't need it, but we might as well get an extra one while down here. Ooh, you sausage. Ooh. All right, fine, we'll go with the basic attack then. Ha! You also missed. Sucks to be. Adding an extra word. You. Oh, come on. That was my best chance to hit. Wow, you're still up. Oh my god. This thing is like made of butter or something. I can't, cannot hit it. It's slippery, little bugger. Oh, come on. I had a 75% chance of hitting there. How the hell did that miss? Okay. That's your big boy move. Alright, there we go. Wowee, you did not want to play fun. Swing. Ow. Oh. RNG Jesus is not on my side today. It should be alright. We'll just give him an old fashioned. Oh man. Aha! I have to say, so far, I'm more of a. still more of a fan of, like, Chrono Trigger's combat than this. This feels a little bit too, like, maths and luck-based. But, you know, I'm going to give it a chance to grab me. Get back here. Oh, he ran away. Um, let's fully explore in this area. How do I get up there, do we reckon? It's not awfully clear sometimes where you can interact with the landscape either. So, I'll just go and say hello to this fella. Now oh, he brought friends with him. Uh, well, let's take you out first. Yeah, it's, it's just very random sometimes. Like, I wish I brought something fiery. Just keep it simple. Yep, perfecto. Oh, there you go. You didn't care for that. Didn't care for that one bit. And chop. And chop. <sighs> glowy number? Glowy number. One day I'll understand what the glowy number means. But it is not this day. <laughs> and I will continue to choose the glowy number. Oh, look at that. Everything went up stat-wise. That's pretty good. If anybody down in the comments can explain... Oh, I can get up here. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes the environments aren't entirely well signposted in regards to what you can actually do. But then again, I can't really criticise like 
Final Fantasy VII had very much the same thing. Oh, you... Bastardo! Maybe I should go back and get, like, a fiery doodad. See, I still got glowy numbers. Don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, back now, back to regular numbers. Still, no idea what that whole thing means, but it's fine. Chop! I got a glowy number. Is it maybe just like there's a chance of doing more damage on that one? Like there's a chance of getting a, a critical off that level of damage? I don't know. I didn't really notice any significant change in the uh, damage output, but. I oh, suppose so I can get a jump on him from up here. That's probably what that one's implying. Can't get over to that side for some reason. But maybe this is it. We just jump him. Oh, I've got to get him when he comes around here. So. Oh, too f wow, he's quite slow at jumping. You know what? I don't actually need him that badly. I've already got the Komodo scales I need. That's just water. Can we sneak past this fellow or do we have to fight him? Oh no, we can sneak past him. <gasps> wait, it's just down here. How do I get to that? How do I get to... Oh, wait, I can push this. Where do I push it? Aha! It dislodged the chest. Where's it going? <gasps> it's floating to the surface. Come to daddy. Silver Lupe. What's a silver loop? Oh god, well. Wow. That chest has given up on life. Uh, what's that then when it's at home? It does. Improves hit percentage. Can I have it in addition to this? I can. Perfect. Well, I mean, that seems like a win. Be cool, bro. No interest in fighting you. Just exploring. Oh, and now we're back here again. Okay, so the only other thing I... There's another chest... Unless I can... So I was thinking about this after I finished recording. I wonder if I can go into that cave, but then I just... There's another way out that I just didn't see. Where was that way to get down? I think it was... Oh, I'll just fight this guy if I have to. He's in my way. And frankly, he's making a right old nuisance of himself. Chop and Quabamo. Still don't know what the golden numbers mean. <laughs> it's still glowing, so I'm going to keep choosing it. It doesn't seem to be doing any more damage, though. I just. Maybe I could just. I don't know. Well, back to normal now. Oh, stay still. There you go. I mean, it's a 69 and it's glowing. I've got to choose it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I've also... This is like a stupid thing that I should have realised before. I don't seem to have a level. I just seem to have stats that increase. So it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy X in that regard. So if I go in here, is there another... Wait, what's here? Oh, he was lurking under the water. That's the second time this guy's tripped me. Kudos to him, I would say. And chop. No, no counters. Bad sportsmanship. Only I'm allowed to hit you. And chop. And dead. Actually, there is a kind of like a Final Fantasy X vibe here, what with like, you know, the sunny environment, the shorts wearing protagonist. Aha! I was right. There is a way to get around through there. Perfect, then I think. Ooh, ivory helmet. That sounds neat. Can we equip that? Oh, we've already got one. Oh well. Can we have two? 
No, that'd be silly. We've only got one head. Can't wear, can't wear two helmets at the same time. They're not magical. Right, let's jump out through here. We're going to go and explore the south version of these rocks, and then we'll head down to Apasa Beach. Or have we just come out of this rock south? If I go back in here, what happens? Oh, this is just this. Oh, that is just the south area of that. Okay, well that's fine. We can head on to Apasa Beach then. Oh, and that's why it took me back in the other entrance when I went in the north way. Aha, it all makes sense now. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, this is very pretty. I'm going into Mexico. Nope, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Wasn't, didn't she say she was going to meet me at this beach? Oh, but I suppose I actually have to make her the necklace. How am I going to make her the necklace, though? Do I have to go back to town to do that? I guess so. Alright, back to the world map. Where else is there to go? There's Cape Howell. Um, should I be exploring a bit more? There's Cape Howell. There's Fossil Valley. And there's this weird marshes. Hydra marshes. Anything else? Uh, look around here. Nothing else hidden on the map? Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure where to go now. I'm going to head back to the village. Because that seems the most logical place to go. Who can make me something? Uh, don't go to Hydra marshes. Evil dwarves. Ooh, fun. Can you make a necklace? Yo, Sergi. Uh, oh no, I've already had this. Who's going to make... Shut up, I'm running away from you. I'm going to go talk to her until I've got the necklace ready. Come on, Serge, get your butt over to Lizard Rock already. I've done it! I think I already deserve about 100 scales, but I guess three will do for now. Once you get all three scales, wait for me at Opasa Beach. You know, is it? And I don't accept scales that you personally collect. I don't want any that were just handed to you. Oh, I do have to go... Oh... What's the point in giving me one then, game? Making me think I'm all clever and shit, and then telling me that I can't even use it. Also, I'd argue that's nonsense. I have the three scales. Um, where did I go to get to that? Oh, I'm gonna have to. Should I go? I'm gonna go buy some fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep just trucking away at this. I'm gonna go and buy a fire doodad thing. Element. Element, that's the word. Hello. Yes, please. I want to buy Fireball. How much money have I got? Hey, I've got loads of money. Perfect. Alright, got to remember how to use this now. Uh, elements. Allocate you. Um, <clears throat> how did we do this last time? Oh, that was it, yeah. So we want Cure. I don't really want to take off... Well, I guess I could take off Aqua and put Fireball on. Do I need Tablet? Eh, it'll be fine. I'll figure that one out later. That sounds like a future problem. Right, well, let's go and try and jump that last Komodo Dragon. Even though we don't need to, I would argue, game... We have already. Aha! Circumnavigated you. I don't think I can circumnavigate you, though. Oh, no, I can. You're cool. Uh, how? Oh, I am going to have to fight you, though. That's just a thing that has to happen. Guess what, sunshine? I brought fire with me this time. I've discovered fire! Kaboom! Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're doing some damage. Although I do want to make sure we charge up our elements so that we can do cure. Not that we need to desperately, but it's just useful, you know? Do 
do it. Perfecto. Up here. Right, this time, I have to remember there's a bit of a... Oh, I forgot to fight this fella as well. Damn it. Fine. Let's just not mess up the jump this time. It's real simple, you know. We've got our strategy down now. Chop. Oh, it's not part of my strategy. Chop. And chop. Then we fireball this sucker. He is dead. This fella bites us on the nipple and then we beat him to death with our paddle. Jobs are good and Do it. I don't know what... Oh, all the fangs and stuff are for like crafting, aren't they? I just remember how to find that person who's... Oh wait, is that woman I just spoke to, wasn't it? Right. Give yourself plenty of time. Ah, just a smidge too late. He really has got a slow jumping animation, so we have to be overly cautious with jumping. Get back here, you! That felt pretty bang on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but now I don't have my water ability equipped anymore. It's fine. We'll, we'll kill them the old-fashioned way. That's fine, fine, fine. You're dead. It's glowing. Ow. The glowing number let me down. Okay, keep it simple. Hit. Hit. Ah, dead. Oh, wait, what the smeg are you? Ah! Uh-oh, I found a boss and I don't have my right ability equipped. Oh, no. I've made a terrible miscalculation. Um, it'll be fine. Why? Reasons. Uh, uh, do I gamble on the glowy number? Yeah, glowy number gamble. How hard can you hit? Eh, uh, somewhat. Um, maybe I should cure... Not yet. We keep wailing on him for the time being. Chop, and chop, and ch Oh. Well, it's glowing. Okay, now we probably want to heal, just to be careful. Heal me! Ah, oh, look at that, full health. Easy peas. Chop, and chop, and chop! Ah, he's already weakened. Your days are... Uh-oh. <laughs> be cool! Be cool! Fifteen? Well, could be worse. Chop, and chop. Did we get him? We got him! First boss completed! I didn't even need my water magic. Ooh, reached a new growth level. What does that mean? Well, some other stuff went up. That's good. Yep, we'll use... Oh, we couldn't use it. That's fine. Do I have all of them now? I can leave? I'm done? I guess I'm done. Where does this bring us out? Oh, yeah, down here again. Okay, can we circumnavigate all the other fights here? Isn't there a way up here? Oh, no, I have to go around the long way, don't I? Ah, Ploppingtons. It's fine. I think we've been pretty successful at clearing out this area. And we managed to dodge that fella. So, even better, really. Right. I'm gonna save, now that that's done. You better be appreciative of this. After all the hard work I've put in. There you are. 
God, she's a bit bossy. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Uh, no, just killing things, you know, passing the time. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Here you go. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Yeah, you will. Thank you, Serge. Sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. It's very, very pretty. Oh, there is sad music playing. Or just peaceful music. Can't quite tell. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves. You keep referring to when we were kids, but we don't look much older than about 15, 16-ish. Just the two of us, talking. I think she might have a little crush on us. Do you still remember that day? Um, she hasn't been that mean to us. I'm going to be nice to her. I remember. Really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day. What is this, Final Fantasy Seven? <laughs> that makes me happy. Oh, good. I've spread joy today. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait. Waiting for the right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years. When we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. Whoa, okay. Cool your jets, Lena. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. We'll forget it eventually. We'll never forget this day. This was the day that I killed that dragon thing. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's been something I've been wanting to... Serge, wait, there's a voice in my head? What? What's wrong, Serge? Yeah, I think I only, only I heard that. Serge? Some, is the sea calling to me? Is this Moana? Oh, cutscene. Hello, sea? Uh oh. Okay. Less and less sense. Uh oh. That's a big wave. Uh, am I glowing? Lena, I'm glowing. Help! Ow. Where's Lena? Did you run away? I mean, to be fair, I'd have run away if I saw that big tide coming. Uh, I don't know who's... What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. Who is this? Oh. Old man consequences with his Komodo dragon. Ah, oh, wasn't this the guy who taught me about Komodo dragon stuff? You alright, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down there anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. And I thought, yeehaw! Another dead body for my collection. No, I'm not dead. Um, where's Lena? Oh, <laughs> huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Uh-oh. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. 
You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Wow, that sounded a bit ominous and threatening at the end, sir. I'm on to you, sir. Okay, well, that was terrifically weird. I suppose we just head back to the village. Oh, it's not letting me... I have to manually pass through the lizard rock again. Okay. Oh, there's new things here now. Oh. What's this? A passer beach danger keep out. What? This is different. Now, if I know Chrono Trigger, it feels a lot like we've traveled through time. <laughs> Everything's different and that was like, you know, the gimmick of Trigger. These monsters are different. I feel like I should fight one just for, there's another Komodo dragon there still. Gotcha! And you're guarding a chest. That will be mine. Oh, yes. It will be mine. Uh, I don't have water magic at the moment to hurt you with, so I'm going to have to just... Oh, never mind. We're all good. Glowy number. Oh, damn it, glowy number. When will I learn your secret? When will you be on my side? Chop. Chop. Dead. Da, 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 da. Hey, HP got up again. Well, I have many, many things to craft with now, which is good. Another ivory helmet. So that's... Where did that thing go? Oh, it was in here all along. It's being a sneaky sausage. And do we reckon fire's going to work on you? We're going to find out in a tick. Although I can just kill that one, so that's fine. How do you feel about a fireball to the face? I wonder. It doesn't like it. Although it didn't do as much damage as I expected it to. All our stats are just scaling. I don't know if I'm like... Am I technically grinding at this point? Or am I... You know what, let's just go back to the village. Although, was there any, were there other chests? Um, if this is a new version of this area, there might be new chests. Right? I just can't remember where the chests were. Oh, that Komodo Dragon's up there now. Well, that one nearly jumped down. He doesn't seem bothered by me. He's not running away. Oh, I want that. Ow. I want that chest, sir, so you're going to have to move yourself out of my way. This is not a negotiation. Ow. Gamble. Oh, the gamble didn't pay off. So I can't choose those. Interesting. Is the yellow signifying that that's like... No, because I was going to say, I was wondering if it was... Oh. I was wondering if it was like, let me know that that meant that that was going to end the chain. But a couple of times it hasn't been the case. Uh, I don't know. Well, we're going to fireball this sucker. And then we'll try and work things out. Boop. Booped him good. Now your magical chest shall be mine. Didn't have enough to heal at the end, but that's fine. No, don't don't push it in. A bone. Wow. All that for a bone. Fantastico. Just gonna ignore this Komodo dragon. I don't have any beef with it, and it's not running away from me, which is odd. Oh, you're back. You're a more familiar enemy. Well, this is fine. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. Sorry, my beat. Wow, you died real quick. Uh, have we got enough to do a... We have got enough to do a fireball. Well, you will take a fireball to the face then, sir. Yeah, you can see already, like, I'm taking slightly less damage, so I'm guessing it's just the benefit of my stats leveling up.
heal ourselves up. Lovely stuff. Right, well, let's go back to the village and see what's up. The music has changed. Yeah, I can see what you're doing here, game. I can see what you're doing here. Things are going to be different, are they not? So far, they look the same. Right now, you're an Arnie. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? There isn't much excitement here, but please relax and stay a while. So you're not telling me all the other nonsense you normally tell me. Hello, can I interest you in something? Uh, yes. I want to see if anything here has changed. It has not. But... I have, uh... Equipment to make weapons and stuff. Maybe I can make something new there. Forge. Weapons. Uh, an ivory dagger. Or a spatula... What? A spatula? I think I've already got... It seems like I've got an ivory dagger already, right? Or can I not use the ivory dagger? No, I've got the sea swallow. That must be a weapon for somebody else. Uh, what about armor? Ivory vest. Ivory mail. Oh, I've got that. Oh, no, I can see if I need it or not. So I remember I've already got that equipped, so never mind. And accessories? I've already got that. Fine. There's nothing here for me right now at this particular second, but it's okay. Hey, hey, stranger. Stranger? Rainbow shells? I want to get... Uh... So, this feels weird. It's like, it's not a different time frame. It's like a different version of reality. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Are you new here? Lena? I think she's on the pier babysitting. She should be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? Technically... Wait, my house. My cats. Please don't tell me I've been deprived of my cats. We've got one of these pug pigs? Oh, no. This truly is the darkest timeline. And there's a Komodo dragon in my bed. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. I'll let you rest here for a while, a little while, man. So you want to rest, man? No, I'm good. Man. <laughs> man, indeed. Well, guess what? Now the curtains are opening. Yeah. What the hell? So, my mum's gone. We've lost our cats. We've got a pug... Oh, wait. Hello. Huh? Who the... What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. This is my house. Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years. Now? Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, I, I forgot to finish that sentence for some reason. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. Whoa. Mean. Also, your pug pig is ugly. I'm just going to come out right and say it. Hideous. Oh, and that fish is gone. Have you heard anything about the El Nido Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down there at the bottom of the, bottom of the sea. I tell you, adults in the are... Adults are so superstitious, they try to act all tough, but this kind of stuff scares them. I mean, it would scare me if they told me there was, like, a giant egg at the bottom of the ocean. Well, he's still having fun, at least. That's something. Hello, Lena. Remember me? Who are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> Have we met someone before? Are you from Termina? Hey! Yeah, you! Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk. Oh, man. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we're definitely in a different... But it's not a different time, though. Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm. You know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Uh, what was his name? Well, both of these are valid questions, but let's go with this one. Why? Why do you want to know his name? Just curious. That boy died. Uh-oh. Are we dead? He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. 
Soon after, his mother passed away too. What about the cats? What about the cats? I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mum says his name was... Serge. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. That's us. I'm Serge. <laughs> You're Serge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? But... That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy was still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. I'm right here, Lena. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Serge is going to come back. Mum always tells me I should shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. You can find his grave up on Cape Howell. Oh no, are we going to Ebenezer Scrooge to this? Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Oh, my heart. No. Please, remember me. <laughs> uh, okie dokie. I'm still not entirely clear on when and where we are. Wait, is Tomo still here? <gasps> Cat! Okay, it's not all bad. I found a cat in this timeline, this reality, whatever we're in. Everything is not entirely shit. Um, well, the queue's still here for the save point. That's right, the record of... Uh, yeah, 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 it's fine. You, you do you. Maybe that's not a save... No, wait, that can't be a save point. What is this thing? The only thing the record effect doesn't touch upon are birth and death. Every time I come to a decision, I always wondered what would have happened if I decided the other way. Maybe I should have done this instead of... Maybe I didn't make the wrong decision. It tells us exactly what choices to make. I can't imagine life without it. Every day would be filled with anxiety and fear. What? What should I see first at the festival in Termina? Should I go catch Nikki's concert, the mermaid dance show? Hmm, what to see? Another festival? You're a new face around here. Don't get many too, too many visitors. My name's Gonji. I'm the chief of Arnie. No, you're not. Chief Radi Radii Radius, or whatever his name was. Why don't you stay and rest a while? Can't offer any extravagant extent to stay, but make yourself at home. Yeah? You want to see the chief? Huh? Radius? Who's that? Gonji's our chief. There's no one by that name around here. You must be mistaken. Oh! I need to go back. <laughs> I need to find my way home. Well, I guess we can go check out our grave. That seems like a fun thing to do, right? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just going to... You know, everybody here is just going to be, like, depressingly unaware of who I am. <gasps> but there are cats everywhere now, though. Also, this has changed now. Hamana, hamana. Oh, it's... <laughs> what a hunk. This here is Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. And he, as luck would have it, Nikki's holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There is a heaven on Earth. It pays to live, live to old age. I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Whoa, stranger, don't tell Gramps about this. <laughs> so we are flip reversing it, aren't we? Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Are you from Termina? So how's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. Also, oh, the Viper Festival's happening in this timeline. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. Uh-oh. Uh... Okie dokie. Well... Uh, where did they say my grave was? That sounds fun. Cape Doodad, was it? Cape Howl. This will be the place. Well, I guess we'll do that next time. The plot thickens. So, we're... God knows. We're not in... We're not in our time... Well, are we, though? Because Lena's the same age, so it seems like we're in the same time frame, but a different version of our time frame. Maybe that's the twist this time. Maybe it's not jumping back and forth in time, but different realities. 
Don't know. Very strange. But we'll learn more next time. If you have enjoyed that, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good good. And I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.